Good evening, kids. We got one last story for today here from this book. Tonight's story will be The Forgiving Friend. It was a beautiful sunny day. Pooh went to visit Rabbit and found him picky vegetables from his garden. Pooh thought his other friends should help, so he went to get them. After Pooh gathered the rest of his friends, he and Piglet went to Kanga's house to check on a sick Roo. No, let's see. Roo wanted some of Kanga's vegetable soup. No, she doesn't have any vegetables, so she can't make it. Roo explained to his friends. A bug. Mm. Mm. There was a bug. Mm. Moving on. Piglet told Pooh he would be right back. He went to Rabbit's house for vegetables, but he couldn't find Rabbit. He knew Rabbit wouldn't mind, so he took what he needed. Piglet hurried back to Kanga's house, but Pooh was already gone. Piglet stayed to help make the soup. Let's see, later, when the rest of their friends got to Rabbit's garden, they saw the vegetables they had picked already. Tigger was very suspicious. He was going to get to the bottom of this mystery. First, Tigger approached Rabbit. Don't be ridiculous, Rabbit said. Why would I take my own vegetables? R Rabbit shooed Tigger away and he went on with his search. Tigger questioned all his friends, but he learned nothing. Then he went to see his buddy, Roo. When he got there, he saw that Kanga had cooked up a storm. Did all these vegetables, co Did all these veg vegetables come from your garden? And that Tigger asked him. Why no, Tigger, she said. Piglet brought them from Rabbit's garden. Now, aha! The missing case... Uh, the, I mean, the case of the missing... Uh, Fajeritables was solved. I knew it all along, cried Tigger. I got, I got to go tell old Long Ears. Be back in a different Tigger bounded fast and furiously to Rabbit's house. When he told him the answer to the mystery, Rabbit was not pleased. Piglet should have asked before taking my vegetables, said Rabbit. Let's see, and I plan to tell him so. Mm. Tigger and Rabbit found Piglet at Pooh's house. I wanted to ask you first, Rabbit. No, Piglet began. I see, but you weren't home. Now, here, take these acorn muffins as an I'm sorry gift. Rabbit stopped and after listening to Piglet. I forgive you, Piglet. Then he looked at Piglet's basket. Why do we take your muffins and the last my vegetables not over to Kangaroo right now? Hmm. No, I see. At Roo's house, no, Rabbit and Piglet presented their gifts. I hope you're planning to save for dinner, said Kanga. This forgiveness business. No, let's see. It looks pretty tasty, said Tigger. Let's eat, said Pooh. The end.